This is a big one. <laughs> this is a really big one. It's been a dream of mine to design a sneaker, and I didn't know what it was gonna be or how it was gonna happen, but I always knew that it was something that I wanted. And even though I've worked for places and designed products in the past, being a sneakerhead, designing a sneaker and having a shoe that has my name tied to it is like one of those crazy, just paramount dreams that you have that you never are sure if it's ever gonna happen. But today, I can't believe it, but after months and months of work and working with some really great people, it's happened, and I have it right here. So a little bit of backstory before we actually jump into the unboxing. A couple months ago, Planters Peanuts actually approached me and gave me the opportunity to design a shoe for them, which is kind of like the last place I'd ever expect a sneaker opportunity to come from, Planters Peanuts, a, a peanut company. But when a company like that with a great product and a great brand image comes to you and asks you to design something for them that you've always wanted to design, you kind of instantly say yes, it was a no-brainer. So the idea behind the concept and sort of the brief for the project is that Mr. Peanut, you guys know him, he's always been a dapper dresser, and he's swapping his spats for some custom fly, they're calling them Crunch Force Ones. So the idea was to create a good-looking, stylish, high-quality sneaker that Mr. Peanut could stunt in, and also us normal people could rock as well. Because, I mean, we're obviously not as swag as Mr. Peanut. It's kind of a given. So the time frame on this project was a little short, and I think I actually started drawing up sketches for the shoe when I was in Japan, which I believe was in April. So I don't think I've showed you this, but I actually have a little paper sketchbook that I use to sketch out any sneaker ideas that I have, and I take it with me pretty much wherever I go. So whenever I'm working on a new concept or have any ideas, I just jot them down in the sketchbook. And that's what I did for this project. I spent about three or four days just jotting down general concepts of what this sneaker could look like. Honestly, the process was pretty similar to what I do in my If I Design series, which if you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But I personally really like doing hand sketches first before I go digital because it really allows me to play with the shape and play with the form and not ever feel like I'm getting too final with the design. Then from there, I picked a concept and went digital and I sketched out the shoe on my Wacom tablet and finalized the design and tried to create a photorealistic rendering so that I could show plan and the client really what the shoe would look like when it was done. Then once the concept was approved, I took it into Illustrator and created a really simple tech pack where I made orthographic views or front, side, back views of the sneaker to give the factory, or in this case, Richie Range, a good friend of mine, he's an awesome customizer, an idea of what the shoe would look like and how we could put it together. So this simple tech pack, or essentially just a simple blueprint of what the sneaker will look like, included things like the material callouts, where the embroidery is gonna be, the different colors that we want, etc. Then once that was done, we sent it off to Rich and he made the sample. And now we have the sample here, which I've never seen before, and I'm really, really excited to see. So let's pop this guy open and see my shoe. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking a little bit. This is really exciting. Um, oh man, I can't believe this is real. Oh man. So inside this box, is the sample of the Planters Crunch Force Ones, which I designed and Richie Range made a reality. And you can actually grab a pair, more details on that later, but uh, <laughs> I can't believe this. Let's open these guys up. <sighs> oh man, this is my shoe. This is my first shoe. I'm freaking out a little bit. This is this is almost too much to handle. So here they are, the Planters Crunch Force Ones. And they're real, and I can't believe it. Let's take a closer look. So obviously the sneaker is designed for Mr. Peanut, and because of that it has to come in Mr. Peanut colors, which are yellow, blue, black, and of course you've got the peanut brown on the outsole. And uh, I'm really surprised and happy with just how well this shoe came out. I've gotten a lot of samples, first samples of products that I've made in the past, and they've never ever come out this well, and I think that's probably because Richie Range is just like the most talented dude ever. He's actually the guy that I made the Pharrell um, boost you wears with at Ubic Lab like months ago. And uh, this is just, 
This is just absolutely insane. So I was heavily inspired by classic basketball sneakers, the kinds that use premium materials and are really designed to not only perform well, but look good. And uh, what you might not realize is that this wave shape on the side made out of the blue tumbled leather actually used to be the silhouette of a peanut. I was really trying to incorporate a peanut shape into this shoe without being too out there and overt with it. And obviously I didn't in the end because it turned out like this, but I think I prefer this shape overall. So the materials that are used on this shoe are this really nice premium blue dyed tumbled leather. And the reason we're able to use nicer materials on this shoe than other sneakers available on the market is because even though the shoe is getting created in quantity, it's not in like a huge mass quantity. It is still a relatively limited sneaker. So we are able to actually use nicer materials because there's just less shoes. You've also got this really nice black suede running around the center of the upper. I'm kind of just blown away by how nice these materials are. I'm also blown away by the fact that I'm unboxing and reviewing my own shoe. <laughs> That's still like hitting me pretty hard right now. And of course you've got some Mr. Peanut details all the way around the shoe. First of which is Mr. Peanut's face getting embroidered into the leather tongue, which I think looks great. You've also got a little monocle hang tag, which I really like, and then also planters embroidered into the heel. And then one of the more subtle details is that you've actually got peanuts printed on the insole of the shoe, which I think is nuts. I promised myself I wasn't gonna make that pun the entire video, but I did it. One of my favorite details about the shoe are these black wax laces, which really contrast the black suede nicely. It's something that I didn't actually expect to be so nice until I saw it in person, and now I'm just in love with it. Also, the padding around the upper and the tongue is awesome. That's not something that I specifically spec'd, but it's something that Rich did a great job with. And I just think the shoe overall turned out absolutely incredibly. I, I can't believe it. And the craziest part, at least for me, is that you can actually own a pair of the Crunch Force Ones that I designed. They're available right now for pre-sale for $170 at crunchforceones.com. There's a link in the description below, and they're only available until June 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern time. But I really wanna give a huge thank you to Planters for giving me this opportunity, and everyone involved in this project, you guys know who you are. Thank you guys so much. But the biggest thank you that I owe is to you guys, the viewers, because if it wasn't for you all, I would've never had this opportunity. I would've never been able to make one of my dreams, my main dream actually come true and I can't thank you guys enough for that you guys are the reason that I do what I do and I love you guys if you would like to see a full review on the actual final production version of this shoe let me know in the comment section down below I've, I've never reviewed my own shoe before but I'm down to try it and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one